Georgia local weather authority forecast. Your record high temperatures will be the big story today. In a live look at the Tulsa City, we still have the dark vision on this camera, but the sun is going to rise pretty soon. Within the next 45 minutes, we do see that with pretty much clear skies across the region right now. And I'll be tracking the sunny conditions. Again, temperatures more than 100 degrees today. So we have to watch out for that heat because there's a heat advisory in effect for parts of the basin. And that's also because of the drier conditions. We do notice that over the past 18 to 24 hours, we had some showers and storms move off to the east out of our viewing area, giving way to clear skies and drier conditions that we're seeing for this morning. And again, when you combine the heat and the dryness in the atmosphere, especially later today. That's where we're going to be talking about dangerous heat conditions. So the National Weather Service has issued a heat advisory in effect till 8 p.m. local time, including Odessa, Midland, Big Spring, and also the Big Bend area. In some of those counties, we could be seeing temperatures more than 105 degrees today. So yeah, a very warm day. Temperatures warming up by as much as 30 degrees or more compared to what we're seeing right now. 75 degrees in the tall city. We have an interesting temperature distribution across our viewing area. Some cooler temperatures in the heart of our viewing area. 56 degrees in Marfa because they're higher up and they're drying out in the atmosphere. But those winds stronger in the northern and western basin in the Guadalupe Mountains and in Carlsbad, not really allowing those temperatures to drop. 76 degrees right now in Carlsbad. So yeah, pretty interesting stuff. But either way, basin wide temperatures warming up in the 90s in triple digits today. Hot and dry, 103 degrees in the tall city right around the afternoon commute. So make sure you guys hydrate. Make sure you guys jump in the pool if you can to cool off. And again, stay safe out there. Tracking those temperatures again, 90s and triple digits for many locations. Mid to upper 80s in the higher elevations, cooling down tonight. And before then, we're going to be seeing temperatures still very warm in the 70s and 80s by the time you guys perhaps will go to bed right around 10 p.m. overnight. Temperatures dropping into the 60s and 70s, so a little bit cooler compared to what we're seeing right now. Low temperatures, 72 degrees in the Midland and Odessa area. Clear skies, mild conditions, and those winds from the south-southwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And those winds are lighter. That's why we're seeing radiational cooling, allowing those temperatures to be a little bit cooler compared to yesterday morning. But those winds are going to pick up just a little bit later today, but not breezy enough to really elevate the risk of fire danger too much. That's something that we're going to be seeing tomorrow. Winds gusting more than 30 miles per hour, sustained from the west-southwest at 15 to 25 miles per hour, also allowing for warmer air. I think high temperatures may be a degree or two warmer tomorrow compared to today at 104 degrees in the tall city, blowing dust, limiting visibility at times, so please be weather aware. And yes, a higher risk of fire danger. So you do not want to light up any matches because those fires may rapidly spread in those stronger winds, especially tomorrow. The heat is here to stay though for today, tomorrow, and even on Friday, cooling down a little bit in the 90s and triple digits. But then below normal temperatures this weekend in the 70s and the 80s.